it's a little warm out here. Hey, speaking of hot, I got eight tips that can help you grow your YouTube channel. So y'all stick around for that. I'll fill you in. You may be thinking, how can this guy tell me how or what I should be working on to build my channel when his is so small? And you have every right to think that, and you're right, my channel is small. However, I have spent a few years watching countless numbers of videos and read a lot of blogs on creating a successful YouTube channel. I am no guru, that is for sure, but hear me out. Oh, and if you do any of the things that I'm about to mention, know that I'm not trying to tell anyone what they're doing wrong or hurt their feelings. I'm just sharing with you what I have learned from the real gurus. The number one thing I have on this list is it doesn't matter if you have a phone, a camcorder, a dedicated camera to create your videos with, doesn't matter. Remember, the best camera is the one that you already have. That's number one. So number two, come up with a video ideal. And that one can be kind of hard, but have an idea of what you want your video to be about before you hit record and then base that your title off of your video ideal. You know, don't make a video about trimming the trees and then title it, it's hot out here. Because, yeah, it's hot out here, but it don't really relate to trimming the trees. So try to use a title that's related to the video and create your uh, thumbnail that will fit that title and that video ideal. And if you can use your title in the verbiage while you're talking and stuff, it'll help the AI direct that video when it gets ready to put it out to the public and the YouTube world. It'll help the AI to know who to send that video out, push it out to. And remember, the title and the thumbnail is the first two things that uh, anybody sees. So make them good make them unique be creative don't just be like everybody else use something that will catch somebody's attention it doesn't matter how good your video is if you don't have a, a pretty catchy title and a really catchy thumbnail they're just going to buzz right on past your video and doesn't even and won't even give it a chance so be creative. Oh, and remember, as cool as intros look, and I've seen some really cool ones, just remember, that viewer is there for the information that they came there to get, not to watch your intro. So limit your intro, or better yet, do away with it at the beginning. That was number three. Now, for number four, let's get in the car where it's a little cooler now number four you know a lot of people at the very very beginning of a video they'll run their intro which i said do away with your intro you can run your intro but wait go ahead and hook them first we'll get into that one in a minute but then you want them to like and subscribe your video and you haven't even got into the video how do they know they like it how do they even know, if they haven't subscribed, how do they know they want to subscribe? So save that call to action for a few moments after you get into the video. Tell them what the video is about. Tell them what they're going to get if they stay. Then you can run your intro. You could ask them to like and subscribe if you wanted to do so then. I would personally wait a little longer into the video. I used to do it right at the beginning, like most people do or a lot of people do, I can't personally hit like on a video until I've watched the video. Anybody that just automatically hits like the video, they don't know if they like that video or not. They're just hitting it because they like you or something. Don't ask them to do that until later in the video, but don't forget to because we all need the likes to help YouTube know that people like what we're putting out. As far as subscribing, that helps us know, as the creators, that uh, we're putting something out that somebody's interested in. I just ran across something of interest that kind of proves number five. Y'all check this out. 
Did you know that the average attention span is just 8.25 seconds? Research has revealed that human beings are indeed lagging behind the goldfish in terms of being able to focus on a task or object. All of these attention span statistics are current and up to date. And that brings me to number five. The first 10 seconds of the content can determine if a viewer stays or goes. Tell them exactly what the video is about and then transition into the video. Hook them quickly or they will leave. That's what I was talking about a few moments ago. If you want me, I want it. That's a cross between moments and minutes. But that's what I was talking about. Hook them. Throw something out there that gets their attention, but you got According to that website, you have 8.25 seconds. But I would say within the first 10 seconds, that's pretty much all you have, so make it count. Number six. Number six is try to eliminate the pauses between your thoughts. If you're thinking about something, push pause or stop on the record button. Take a minute, gather your thoughts, and then proceed or edit out the pauses you don't want to have a bunch of dead air because with dead air people start to lose interest so keep it going see what i mean cut out the pauses when possible of course there are times when it is deemed necessary for a moment to reflect on what you are saying and give your viewers a moment to reflect on what you just said or what you are about to say. But try to keep that minimal. Hey, if you're getting any value out of this video at all, be sure and give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you haven't yet. Number seven, depending on what you're videoing with, and the distance from you and the camera, remember to focus your eyes on the lens, not the display you see yourself on. Like some of the cameras have the little flip out screens. Don't be watching the, that or the monitor. Watch the lens like right there. <laughs> that is harder than it sounds, but at least try. It kind of makes people feel like you're paying attention to them and not somebody over here. Stick around. We've got one more tip in today's eight tips. Well, are y'all ready for the eighth tip? As you can see, I made it home. And I am going to work on this video. And before I upload this video, tip number eight. Watch your own video. See if it bores you. See if there's certain spots in it that aren't relative to the video that you can cut out, that make you bored, that you're ready to go to sleep while you're watching it. Because if you go to sleep while you're watching your own video, you can dang well bet other people will, or they're just gonna move on to the next video. So if it's boring to you, you know it's gonna be boring to somebody else. So watch your own video. So keep your video alive, keep it flowing. Don't let the boring spots ruin a good video cut them out any unnecessary clips that's in your video take them out it's better to have a shorter video that pe keep people watching than have a long video that people watch for a minute and then they move on give somebody a reason to watch that video keep it flowing don't put them to sleep and don't run them off is that simple enough Hey, if you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up button and be sure to share it with your friends. If you like this video and you're not real sure on how to get started on making a channel, check out this video right up here. It will tell you the very beginning steps before all of this. So I hope you all have enjoyed it. Y'all keep smiling, keep fashion, dancing, prancing, doing whatever it is you want to do, fishing, whatever it is you want to do. Just keep doing something.
because you're going to grow old if you don't. I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye, y'all.